hello viewers welcome back to my channel if this is your first time of joining this channel or watching these videos i want to say a warm welcome to you i appreciate you for joining us in today's videos i'm going to be talking about how i started my fashion brand in november 2023 okay so I'm going to be talking to us how I started, the mistakes I made, the lessons I learned from them, and my encouragement to those who want to go into fashion in this 2024. So if fashion is something you love, if it's something you are passionate about, if it's something you want to do, why not take a chair, sit back, relax, and listen to what I have to say, and then you can learn a thing or two from it okay so let's get started all right i started it when my office got me a sewing machine i actually wrote a requisition that i needed a sewing machine in my class in school because i teach in an international school don't worry about that in my next video i'm going to talk about life uh, and shuffling life as a teacher and also as a fashion designer i'm going to talk about that that is that for another video so I actually wrote a requisition that I needed a sewing machine for my class. I actually teach children catering craft lesson. I teach them how to bake. I'm going to be showing you some videos about that, how to sew. We were using needle and thread. My children were using uh, needle and thread to do their sewing, but their work wasn't really coming out as I wanted. And I said, okay, let's proceed to using a sewing machine. But you can imagine me that is teach, that's wanting to teach students how to use a sewing machine. I can't even use a sewing machine either. So I wrote a requisition for the school to buy a sewing machine and then they actually got it for me. And then they approved the request first. And I knew that the sewing machine was coming. How do I now go to work and then the sewing machine is there and I won't be able to use it and all that. So I looked for a means and I bought my sewing machine. This was actually the first sewing machine I bought, a butterfly brand, okay? So I quickly went to the market to buy this sewing machine and I went online, YouTube specifically. I began to learn how to 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 pedal a sewing machine so i began to learn how to pedal a sewing machine i began to watch videos i began to learn how to thread a sewing machine using my own so i started learning it and i was getting better in it and then i proceeded when i got to work it was easy for me to be able to pedal this to the sewing machine it was easy for me to thread the sewing machine and i started some basic stitches okay i knew that stitching a straight line was an easy task so i started by making bags like this so i started my fashion lessons online okay i started learning fashion online in november 2023 okay because where i currently am i couldn't find uh a stylist or someone who can really teach me fashion using English language. They speak mostly Kiyangwanda or they speak French. So getting someone to teach me in the English language was a bit difficult. Maybe I don't know where they are. I've not been able to find one, but there may be fashion stylists around who, who who can teach who can actually teach in english but i've not been able to get so while waiting for that i had to start my fashion uh, lessons online i actually learned how to sew how to take med body measurement online okay before i started the online lessons what actually prompted me to start it was that i always went back in nigeria i always wanted to go into fashion and designing but getting a, a, a fashion school where they teach as at that time then you you see four five or even six students using only one sewing machine and i couldn't afford my own sewing machine back then so it was somewhat difficult for me to go and register because i believe if you want to learn about sewing you learn how to sew by sewing you learn how to cut by cotton so i didn't want to go and register and then i don't have a sewing machine back home to try to to go back to what i have been taught to practice what i have learned so since i couldn't afford it i just let the idea of uh going into fashion or learning fashion and design i just let that idea 
slip away so i started by making bags like this because i felt uh, bags like this just takes straight lines just straight cuttings no no special way of cutting it so this was what i started with and i i began to get better in it okay so then i proceeded to learning how to cut clothes online okay like i said i learned all my sewing skills that i know all the knowledge i know in sewing now i learned them online they say youtube is now the new uh, university or the new fashion school okay so if you are watching these videos it means you have access to youtube so if you want to go into this please if you cannot afford to go to a fashion school kindly go online go to youtube then there are lots of videos that you can watch that can help you learn how to make clothes or how to use the sewing machine so i proceeded to uh, learning how to make clothes how to cut uh, basic bodies pattern i had to look for i have a sister-in-law who actually is into sewing too so from time to time i will call her please let me know when i experience challenges like when my sewing machine i notice it is sewing so tight that i cannot lose the clothes even after making mistakes she showed me how to use this uh, controller to control how i stitch so i began to learn from her and then she introduced me to uh, fashion stylists online on youtube specifically who, who i can follow i can learn from and then i began to follow her and then at one point on instagram i found her advert on online classes and i actually took the online classes the beginners class and i began to learn how to make clothes okay how to make basic bodies pattern how to make basic shorts like the videos you saw before now i made a blue jumpsuit you can see all the mistakes in that jumpsuit but i didn't give up so if you are learning how to sew and um, you are making mistakes do not stop because you are making mistakes you learn how to sew by sewing you become perfect in it even during the classes i think i was stopped i was stopped in my beginner's class okay whenever they give us any assignment to do i make mine quickly and then i send my feedback and then other students were like are you sure you are a beginner i was like yes he said because we're in this class together and you have proceeded to you have really gone far in it but because i was passionate in that I, I knew what they were saying was true so i began to continue and then i went really really deep into it and so i started making clothes i started making peplum tops started making flare skirt luxury dress i made clothes for my kids my first six pieces skirt modern daughter clothes so i proceeded to learn how to make luxury dresses and i started working on them and this is how far i've gone this is my current project this is what i'm currently working so then i decided to set up my fashion space at home okay this is the the small space i'm using at home these are the things i'm working with okay so it's it's just by my staircase under my staircase that is why i set up my sewing uh, materials this is where i usually hang those uh, clothes i'm working on this is my electric sewing machine okay this is my manual so this was the first jumpsuit i made while i was learning you can see this jumpsuit is full of mistakes okay when i tried to cut the front pattern i didn't know how to cut it well i just divided it into two you can see the line in the middle it was a disaster i had to come up with a design just to try and cover it the shoulder to waist measurement was not okay my crouch measurement was not okay in fact after making this jumpsuit it was very tight you can see how long the shoulder to waist measurement is and then i couldn't get the crouch measurement and then it became very bad i had to add an elastic in the bottom i didn't want to put on yeah, designing is my passion so like i said earlier on i said i am a teacher i'm still a teacher and teaching is is very is a calling for me okay and then so these are two things i wouldn't want to leave one fully for the other so like i said i teach students crafts i teach them how to sew i teach them how to knit i teach them how to bake how to cook i even run uh uh 
uh, after school club where I teach them how to cook different kinds of uh, of meals. Okay, I'm a general skill teacher. I teach them lots of skills. So instead of leaving teaching for fashion designing completely, I felt that I can still teach fashion and designing so getting the knowledge first for myself building a brand for myself and also teaching the younger generation the upcoming generation fashion skills so you see i'm still doing the fashion but i am teaching it meaning i am not leaving the teaching profession once a teacher always a teacher okay so one way i felt i can teach the younger generation i can pass my knowledge in on fashion and designing to the younger generation or to the upcoming generation is by going to a broader audience okay a wider audience which is youtube and that was what prompted me to start my youtube channel okay i actually posted my first videos in december 2023 okay if you go through all the videos in my youtube channel you find out that i posted my first video in december okay and then that was how i started my channel i began to tell friends and family to subscribe some were subscribing some were not but i feel encouraged and i wasn't discouraged at all i kept pushing and then the channel is growing as you can see currently you can see the number of subscribers i have it shows that the, the the, the channel is growing gradually so if, so if fashion and designing is something you want to do go online okay if you cannot afford a fashion school you cannot find one closer to you just like myself you can go online you can see lots of fashion and designers online you can learn from their tutorials and some of these tutorials are actually free okay are actually free then if you want to gain more knowledge you can go and register for their tutorials when i started i was just doing the free ones online looking at videos you know and then i i registered for their online tutorials and i began to learn some of those tutorials i still have them i still go back to them so i began to build myself gradually and and today you can see most of the things i have made i love luxury dresses i can make them for myself i'm building a fashion uh, uh brand and it is growing gradually so if it's something you want to go to in fact whatever you want to go go to anything you want to do anything you set your mind to do you can achieve it just put your mind to it this is 2024 uh, it is not a time for you to stay without a skill okay having your investing knowledge is not just enough okay you can proceed to having a skill okay learn a skill go online go on youtube you can see different things that you want to learn about and you can learn so if this video has helped you or has changed your life or has um change your your view on fashion and designing or as a teacher or something okay like share subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell so that you can get more updates when i post my new videos next in my next videos i'm going to be talking about life as a teacher and also as a fashion designer i want to thank you so much for watching stay